excited today. I'm always ex excited, but today I am super excited. I know today is going to be super special. This is world launch of our super heat tool from Renea Paris, and I am super excited. So as we as we join, um, thank you for joining us this afternoon, this morning, wherever you're at. Thank you so much. Again, this is world launch of our heat tool from Renea Paris, and I am super excited to be sharing it with you. I'm not going to really do an unboxing because you'll see that and I'm going to guide you over to our other platforms. However, today I'm going to just show you what I have been able to do with this tool and how excited I am. Hi there, Alexander. He's my social brother. And um, but before I forget to mention that, make sure you visit his um, Instagram and Abby. Abby Andrews is my my social sister, I like to say. We have such a, an amazing team at Renea Paris, and when we're bringing you something like this from research and development, I wanna do flips, but you know I can't right now. I think most of you know. Can't do that with my leg. However, in my spirit and in my mind, I am doing flips nonstop. So as we get started, again, I wanna say thank you for joining us today. And I want you to stay with me to the very end because I'm going to demonstrate this tool on a wig that comes from the vault. Now, if you've heard me talk about my personal wig vault, it's my family has a vault of, of pieces that we've collected back from 1968. I'm going to demonstrate it on that style because if I haven't told you before, I've been doing wigs since I was this age. And the wig is really important to me because it's it's for um, education purposes. When I teach classes, I just love to tell you how resilient the Renee Paris fibers are. So at the very end of this live, I'm going to show you my wig that's vintage and 30 years old. I thought I was always going to keep it that way, but you know it's worth the demonstration today. So. This is the launch, the world launch of our heat tool from Renea Paris. I'm just going to show you the box. And the reason I'm doing that is because, let me just tell you, as an educator, as a wig wearer, as someone who truly, truly loves what I do every day, I do this every day, no matter where I'm at, um, wherever I'm working, on location, it's very, very important to me. Um, for me to love the tools I'm working with. I'm going to say that again. For me, for me to love the tools that I'm working with. I've had hundreds of people ask me to show tools, to work with their tools, and Renea Paris Adarins knows that I just it's always a no. I'm in love with this. You need it. You need this. You need this. Again, welcome to Renea Paris. I'm Texas Wig Fairy Daniela, and today is world launch for this heat tool. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm not going to unbox it. I just want you to see the box, and then I'll show you the tool. But it does come in, in packaging like this. This is an amazing presentation when it comes to a box because let me just tell you that I do lots of work with teenagers. I do work with children. And... If I had a child that had to wear a wig that was, say, 10 years old, I would feel, I mean, I would be there, but I would feel safe with my teenage um, daughter using this. And I'll demonstrate that just in a little bit. This is the gift that I would want to receive. This is a gift to give to someone who is new at wigs or has, is seasoned with wigs, has a lot of experience like I do. I love this tool. I really do. It's great. You need this. You need this in your if it you need this in your arsenal. You need this in your boutiques. You need this in your salons. This is going to be a tool that you do want to have. Let me show you before I show you, let me go over what's really really important about this tool. I'm just going to give you some really quick facts if you will. And you can view all this later I know that we're gonna have some several 
um, demonstrations. There's going to be a lot of people un like unveiling it today. I've seen a couple, and I'm, I'm fascinated with it. I can't tell you. Again, this is the Renea Paris heat tool. It has 21 different ceramic pieces. So it has, I'll show you in just a minute, 21 pieces, ceramic pieces that you're going to use to comb through the hair. The temperature max is 240. This is very, very important. I'm going to demonstrate on myself because usually if I'm teaching a class, no matter what the skill set, I always prefer for people to work on the mannequin. I have it here just in case anyone needs to see something different. However, today I'm going to demonstrate on myself. That's how confident I feel about this tool. So hi everyone. Thank you for joining. It takes one minute for the, for the heat tool to heat up to 240. It's not going to go past 240. And let me just tell you, we've worked for years to get this just perfect for people like you and people like me. Meaning if you're the end user and you need a tool, a finishing tool, that's what I'm calling it, because this is a tool that is going to help you restore from maybe shampooing, kind of bump up your bang, kind of put lift here. And I'm going to demonstrate on all the different fibers across the board here at Adderans at Renee Paris, and you're going to be amazed. One button to operate the comb, and don't worry if you were to forget, as I have before, um, if you forget to unplug it, it's, it has an auto shut off mechanism. Um, so after 60 minutes, it's going to shut off, period. You don't have to worry about it. And it is designed for synthetic fiber. All the fibers that I've tested on, of course, are from here at Renea Paris. And as an educator, if you're testing it on something different, I feel confident. However, I always teach in all our classes, make sure that you start in the back just in case. This is a finishing tool. So before I demonstrate, let me just tell you what you do have to keep in mind. First of all, you want to use this on dry hair. Number two, you have to continuously move the comb. If you set the comb and you're not, if you're not pulling through the hair, it's not going to be good. So with anything, even if it stays at 240, we know that if you're using steam, no matter what you're using, if you're not moving fast enough, you, there's always a risk of damaging fiber. I'm going to say that because I, I've done this. I do this all the time. I've done, we've worked in research and development. I do wigs every day. And this is something that is, I'm just wowed. I really am. Let me show you what it looks like. These are the teeth here. This is the iron itself. It has a really comfortable fit to the hand. There's one button right here. One button to turn it on. I'm going to turn it on. You can see, you can barely see, but there's a little blue light here and it's heating up to and it'll tell me when it's at 240. That's it. It's not going to go past 240. You don't have to worry about it. And once it heats up, I'm going to show you that I can touch it and I'm, I'm good. So today I'm going to demonstrate on several different styles. I'm going to start off with my first style here. And because it bears re repeating, in the event that you haven't seen the accessory I'm wearing right now, of course I have a liner on. This is the ROP wig grip. This is to keep your hair in place. It's, it secures it. So this is going to be wonderful, especially if you're styling with your wig on like I am today. This is going to be a perfect accessory for you to have. They come in um, this color and they also come in a beautiful like taupe color. Let me show you that just so you'll know because I get this question every day. This is another accessory that's very, very important for someone who's new to wigs, someone who's in their young, young teenagers that are, wear, that are wearing pieces, that are starting off. It's very, very important for them to have the tools to make them feel confident in their wig wearing experience. But let me just tell you again. 
Okay, so we are at 240. Let me just tell you, I love this because I feel, even if I'm amongst people that don't know that I'm wearing a wig, and I know that the little friends that I have, meaning that they're in school, they're in college, they're in middle school, they want a tool that looks just like everyone else's. They don't want anything that's gonna say anything different other than this is a professional tool and I'm using it on my hair. So let me start off with, and all my pieces, I shampooed them as usual. And if you need to see how to shampoo, if you're new to Renee Paris, make sure you go to our YouTube channel. We have several tutorials showing step-by-step -step, um, techniques and various demonstrations, but everything is to your benefit and for education purposes. So this piece here has been shampooed and dried. And when I do dry them, I do spray in a, not oversaturate, you don't want to oversaturate ever, but I do put in a little bit of Revive and I let it dry. And again, keep in mind, you want the piece to be completely dry before you start combing, um, using your hot tool. So I'm going to brush out any, just because this has a few, it has tangles here. This piece is like a year old. So I am being very cautious as I'm combing through. You can also use your wide tooth comb. This is a wig brush. I like carrying this in my handbag because it's small. You can kind of fold that. You can use either one. I'm just going to kind of comb through here. I'm going to start right here. I want a little bit of lift here. And keep in mind, like I said, you definitely want to make sure that you're you're running the want the the heat tool through. As you'll see, I'm not and I'm holding it here. Look at that. If you want lift, <laughs> this is it. I just can't get over what this does. I really cannot. Before I would put like a a roller there and I would leave it overnight. You know, because not all of us know how to use, um, what do you call those? It's kind of like a magnetic roller, but let me just tell you, this is going to just save me so much time. I can take this traveling with me. And if you'll see, I'm, I'm quickly running through. Look at that. Do you see this? I mean, this is wow. And I kid you not, I've been doing wigs a long time and this is the first time I have ever demonstrated a heat tool live like this because I really do love it. Now I've used it on high heat, of course, you've seen me demonstrate the high heat fiber, but this is a game changer for me. This is a game changer. This you need. Look at this. Is that not wow? I mean, tell me your thoughts. Is this not amazing? This is amazing to me. I can't get over this. I was so excited to get this. I couldn't wait. Okay, so here we are in the front. Here's my skin. I'm, I'm telling you, I am not afraid to use this. But I am combing through because I really do think it makes curling, bending, waving, Okay, so if you'll see, it's lifting here. Okay, so I'm not gonna do the entire piece, but I do want you to see the volume that I have in the crown here that was not there. Is that not wow? Is that not wow? That's wow. Again, if you just joined, this is the heat tool, world launch, Renea Paris. It's a game changer for me. So now I'm going to go on to, okay, everyone knows this girl, this girl Zoe, she's been with me for a while. This, this is Taylor. I call her Zoe because I name all my wigs, but look at her. She needs a little bit of help. And sister, can you bring my um, clips?
Okay, so everyone knows I have worn this for a long time. I wear it with a clip up like this and I kind of do this real quick. So this is shampooed and it has bins in it. Do you see that? Now I want to take the bins out. I want to take the wave out and I absolutely love this style. However, I just, I really have to work sometimes to with a blow dryer and a brush to get it where I need it to be. And I just can't get over how amazing it's going to be, thank you, for for me to be able to just use this So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a small section. And if you're new, I'm going to say this again, I don't hesitate, but if I'm saying if you're new and you have never used a tool before, please Keep in mind that we always separate a section, separate a section so that in the event that anything, if you if you don't pull through the iron, it would be the same with a blow dryer and a brush. It would be the same if you're steaming. It would be the same if you're doing something with a tool that you're not that is not designed for wigs. If you're not careful and you you leave the comb in place for several seconds, you could burn. You could you could singe in our real hair. You could do that. So just keep that in mind. Okay, again, this piece has been dried. You know what? Let me turn this off. I'm sorry. Sorry, I have a little fan on because I... Okay, are we ready? We're going to start off here. I'm going to just try to smooth this out, always working the tangles out. If you'll notice, I'm going to go from under because it's just easier for me to control the hair. And then above, over. Look how smooth this is. This is look at the difference from here to here. And here, I'm going to just comb through. Look how smooth this is. Do you see this? Do you see this smoothness? This is just awesome. Okay, so let me pick. Okay, see this has a definite bend in it. You don't want to grab a, a really large section of hair. Make sure you pay attention to your sections and the sizing. Again, combing through, make sure you get all the tangles out. Again, this is, I shampooed this overnight. I did spray it with not a lot of revive, but I did revive and I let it completely dry. This is very, very important. You want to do this with completely dry hair. If you'll notice, I'm quickly pulling the hair through. Look at this. And you do want to be careful. The only thing I do tell you is be careful when you take the hair, when you run this through the hair, just make sure that you hold it from the ends because it is going to heat the hair up. So you do have to be careful that you don't burn yourself, meaning your fingers, not the hair. I mean, you, you might want to wear, um, most people have like a little glove that they wear if they're using any kind of heat. That's the only thing that I would tell you to be careful of. But as far as this, damaging the fiber I am this is not high heat this is the Renea Paris fiber and look at this I need a wow I need a wow okay so I just to answer that question I wanted I want to I am oh yes I see it now okay so, so can this be used on any synthetic? Okay, this is not high heat fiber. This is our Renea Paris fiber. This is not high heat. In a minute, I will show you how to use this on high heat. But the wonderful thing about this heat tool is this is designed for synthetic wigs. Synthetic wigs. It doesn't have to be high heat. This is not high heat. Look at this. Okay. This is not high heat. This is Taylor. This is from our Renea Paris line. 
This is not a high heat fiber. Make sure you, that you continuously move the heat tool down, being careful that you do not burn your fingers. It's gonna heat the fiber up, it's not gonna burn the hair, but if you don't move your fingers fast enough, that's the only thing that I wanna make sure that you're aware of, okay? Because we have a tendency to kinda hold the hair like this. Make sure that you just let the hair drop. Let me show you, let the hair drop so that you don't burn your fingers. But look at this, look at this. Is that not beautiful? Okay, let me move on to my next style. If you've just joined, thank you for joining us at Renea Paris. Again, this is world launch of our heat tool that is designed for synthetic wigs. High heat, synthetic, all the fibers here at Renea Paris. These are gonna be perfect um, using this tool. Okay, so let me show you my little ponytail here, my ponytail style. Okay, so what's bothering me about this is when I shampoo her, her bangs are a little bit flat. I'm gonna kind of just move this up here. I want to I want to put just a little bit more bend in the bangs if you will just a little bit of a curve if you will okay they're just too flat so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just lift the section here this is the heat tool again it stays at 240 And if you'll notice, it's not flat like this one. It's a little hard to see that, but it, it's got a bend to it. Look at that. It's not flat to my skin. There's a bend. You can see the bend right here. Is that not amazing? It's amazing. It's amazing, and I know I, I, I seem like I'm beyond excited, but I really am. Um, I've never demonstrated a, a tool. This tool, I really do enjoy working with, and I really do think, as a wig wearer, if you do not have um, this in your arsenal, in your toolkit, you're missing out. You're missing out. Yes, this is gonna save you, this is gonna save you time because it's such an easy tool to use. Okay, so this was high heat. Let me show you, let me show you what is amazing on high heat as well. So this is really curly. This is one of my favorite pieces from the Orchid line. I have it pinned, that's why it looks. But I want you to see, I love this style, but I need it just a little bit smoother, not quite as curly. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna section this off. If you're an artist like I am, you know that you always start on the bottom, just in case, just in case I make it too flat or just in case it's not the desired effect because of me, not because of the tool. I wanna look proper while I'm doing this. Okay, so here we go. Super curly, are we ready? I forgot to comb through this, but I'm just so excited, I can't wait. Okay, so are we ready? Look at this. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I'm so proud right now to be introducing this to you. The heat tool from Renea Paris. 240 is the temperature that it's going to stay at. Look at the difference. And if you've never worked with a high heat fiber, just remember that to put the curl back in, you have to set the curl back in. When you shampoo this, it's not going to it's not going to go back curly. It's going to stay like this until you reset the curl with heat. This is not going to give you this effect. If you want this effect on high heat fiber, this is not the tool. 
This is what I like calling a finishing tool. This is for the bangs to smooth out. Like if you shampooed your Angelica and it just has a bend because, you know, we wear them, we want to wear them, we want to wear them for a long time. At the ends, we have a little bit of friction frizz. We just kind of want to smooth that out. This is the tool for it. So what do you think so far? Give me your thoughts. Look at the difference from this to this. I love this way it is, but you know, sometimes I just want it to be a little bit wavy, not so curly. Okay, let me go on. This is, this is probably my favorite. So you know I love really, really short hair. This is from our Renea Paris line. This after shampooing, I usually use just a little bit of finishing spray because I, I really do love the style. This is Zoe. However, there's pieces where I, I just need it to, especially back here, I need it to just stand up a little bit. It just doesn't want to. You know, because it's, it's after a few months and you know, the wonderful thing is a lot of these really last really they last longer really than they should but what I like about this is I can pick this up and actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just hold the hair here and kinda warm up the hair notice how I'm doing this I'm just warming it up taking it out holding it look at that look at this if you want spike this is it this makes it so easy compared to what I've had to do before. I'm Let me do it this way. I'm picking up a section of hair. I'm just feeding it through the teeth here, warming it up, taking this out, holding it. Look at this. So look at that. And then I'll take my little, see this right here, my bang, it just kind of needs to be smoothed out. I'm going to just take this and run through like this. I know it's a little bit, look at that, it just bent it. Perfect. Look at this. Is that not gorgeous? It's gorgeous. I can't get over it. It's like when you want to take one of your little pieces and you just want a little bit of spike. I love it. I hope you can feel the excitement because this, this is absolutely fun for me. When you do wigs every day like we do, now all I need, well, you know, I don't really even need hair product, but what would be good is just to put a little bit of the finishing spray, the ROP product. But look at this. One more time, because I want you to see what I did. I'm going to take a piece here that just needs a little bit of tech. I'm going to call it texture, if you will. I just want it to stand up. I'm feeding it through the comb. I'm holding it, holding it, just warming up the fiber. Look at that. It's going to... It's going to stay. And when you shampoo this style, I love it, but I've always wanted to just be able to somehow, you know, do just a little bit to it. And I usually just put clips, but this just makes it so much easier. Oh my goodness. I just absolutely love this tool. Okay. So I'm going to go on and I'm going to show you. So we've done the Renee Paris fiber. We did high heat fiber. We did, um, Noriko. And now I'm going to show you, oh, you know what? Let me keep this on because I want to show you something. I want to show you something that I just thought, you know what? I have to show you this. This is human hair. And for me, my human hair toppers, they're investments. I want to take care of them. I want to make sure that I don't do anything to damage them. So if you don't, if you didn't see me do this last time, this is what I do whenever I want to wear um, human hair. Like, 
if you have short hair like this style you could definitely just get a whole nother look going this is my we did a launch on our toppers so if you want that information make sure you go back a couple lives and you can see this topper but I want you to see how awesome this is on human hair too are you with me are you with me is this not exciting is this not game-changing okay so we've got a piece here that has a little bit of a bend I'm gonna brush through this I know there's a lot of tools out there for human hair but the important thing is that with this this is such beautiful human hair I want to really take care of it I would not use an implement that I'm not familiar with but I know this is at 240 and I'm gonna be okay I'm feeding it through the teeth with a little bit of tension look at that look at this so going back to the, what I was saying earlier for my teens that I work with every day this tool is going to be the tool you want to get them as a gift. This is it. This is, I can't tell you how many times I've been asked if there's any tool that's just designed for wigs. And I've always had to say no. I am talking about synthetic wigs. I have been in this industry for over 30 years. I have used Renee Pair products for over 20 years. Oh, 20. Over 30 years. And I have never been able to say that. And I am just so happy today. I'm, I'm beyond ecstatic. Look at this. This is human hair. I feel safe using this on human hair because, like I said, this is an investment. It's, it's important for me to make sure that if my teenage friend who um, I got a wig for the other day she can't handle the tools she just doesn't have that ex she doesn't have experience I was I was really hesitant to suggest anything and then I heard that we were launching this and I just cannot wait cannot wait to give these out for Christmas this is it this is a tool for the holidays I'm sorry for any holiday for any holiday that you're um, tomorrow the next day any holiday I kid you not this is definitely something that you you want to give a friend that wears synthetic wigs especially if they're new um, to wig life if you will okay so I'm gonna show you again if you just joined this is my human hair topper I'm combing through because I definitely want to make sure that all the tangles are out feeding through the combs make sure that you don't watch your fingers but look at this i'm just be i'm speechless really i know you think i'm kidding but i am speechless i just cannot get over this and it's beautiful it's beautiful look at it now i can do my hair when we're traveling i can do my hair like everyone else don't have to be worried about trying to figure out how I'm especially I've told you that no matter how long I've worn wigs I still get self-conscious sometimes you know and I'm just excited that I'm gonna be able to have a tool that just looks look at this looks wonderful like all the other tools but this is such an amazing tool I kid you not just for wigs okay so I'm gonna show you now if you've held on with me I'm gonna show you um, the one wig that the anything from the vault has been in the vault since 1970 in the late 70s 1980 okay so this is an old this is a definitely a vintage wig but it's a Renee Pears fiber and I just want you to show show you that I am not afraid to use it on my vintage piece if you work with me you know how important my vintage pieces are but I just was, I can't, I can't hold it. Like, I just can't. I've always wanted to change a little bit about this wig. If you're watching my team, this is a wig called Nanny. This is from 1987. 
Renee of Paris, 1987. I'm going to show you the tag. We're going back. We're going back. It's a throwback. But I want to show you that I, this is such vintage. This is just, it's a, it's like a, a treasure piece for me. Keep in mind, this is, this is not current, but I do want to show you what it's going to do with this fiber. And I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to comb through it a little bit here. This is really curly. Again, I'm not, I'm right by my skin. Look. Look at that. If I wanted to, I'm going to put a little bit of a bend in it. But look at this. Do you see this? I've always wanted to straighten this out. Of course, I have to cut this a little bit, put a little bit of texture in it. But look at the difference in the curl pattern. I would never put a tool on anything that's this vintage that's a treasure in my vintage box. Do you see this? This is wow. This is vintage fiber from Renea Paris from 1987 and look at it when I tell you that the fiber holds up that's what I mean and they have created just the perfect tool for the wig is that not something okay so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go over just a few of the tips again I'm gonna go back to this If you're just joining Renea Paris World Launch of the Heat Tool, designed specifically for wigs, let me, since we're, we're going to end here, let me just show you really quickly. I'm going to just put a little bend here where it's a little bit flat. Always combing through. And then at the end here, I'm just going to read through again. Key points on this tool, please. Look at that. Look at this. Look how easy that is. See, when I first started, I had no volume here. It needed a little bit of height in the crown. This is not a new piece. This is something that I just shampooed and look how much nicer it looks. Okay, so let me go back again. This is the tool. This is the way it looks. Never does it get hot. Look at this. 240 is where it's going to stay. If you forget to unplug it, it's going to turn off after 60 minutes. I'm going to read from here because I want to make sure that I tell you everything correctly. Again, I am Texas Wig Fairy with Renea Paris. And please remember to follow us on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook because we go live all the time. There are several education contributors, myself, Alexander, Abby. Um, we have an amazing team. And when I tell you that th this tool, I am honored to launch because I do a lot of work with really young people um, from 10 years old, younger and older. But in that bracket, teenagers, there I have never been able to show them a tool that they can, be feel, they can feel comfortable taking like on school trips if they're staying over at their cousin's house. They want something that looks ju just like everyone else's tool. Everyone does. I do. When I go to, um, when I'm on maybe a trip with people that I necessarily don't know, um, with my husband and his people, I don't, I want a tool that looks just like everyone else's. I want um, to be able to do my hair, um, in fr you know, just not feel self-conscious at all. And when you're that age, I know when I started back wearing wigs really young, this, this would have been such a game changer. This is going to be a game changer for anyone who's new to wig life, especially, especially, I'm just thinking in my spirit for the really young um, teenagers because they want something that's current, they want something that looks trendy, and they want something that's going to be a great tool to feel 
to help them feel more confident, especially if they just want to fix a bend. Um, you just never, smooth hair is so popular and it's just the tool across the board for all different styles. Again, I'm saying this is for synthetic hair. I'm going to go over these just a little bit and then I'll say bye for the week. Again, 21, 21 different ceramic pieces. These are the 21 pieces that we're talking about. In your box, you're going to have much more information, but I just want to read these off quickly because it's very important to me. Um, temperature is going to max at 240. I know I've said that, but I just want to repeat that. Look at this. Look at the volume that it puts in there. I, I just can't get over it. I know I, I need to be focusing here, but I just can't get over the tool. I really can't. This is just amazing, and this is going to be so fun for so many people. It takes one minute to heat up to 240. There's only one button to operate. I know I'm repeating, but for those of you that just joined, there's just one button. Auto shut off. This is designed just for synthetic wigs. Please keep in mind, again, that there's going to be other information that's going to be in your box. Let me show you that box once again. And I'm going to I'm going to end with that because when I tell you that packaging is very important, it is. Look at this. It's a beautiful box. You could just put a bow on this and give it to me. You could send me one because I need one for my for the road, I need one for my studio, I need one for my house over there, over there. We need this. You need to get this. If you're watching and you're an end user, if you're a husband and you're watching this, trust me. You're your partner wants this. If you know someone that uses wigs, that uses synthetic wigs, that necessarily may not want to use high heat, they need this. This is a tool that they need. This is a tool that you want. So again, thank you so much. I am again beyond ecstatic to be um, launching this today for Renee Paris. I'm Daniela at Texas Wig Fair. If you'd like to follow me on my personal page, and if you are a boutique, a wig shop, call your connection right now. Call your salesperson at Renee Paris. Get these ordered because they're not going to last. See you soon. Bye now.